what is good it is your boy pablo gray and we back with another reaction video and today we got a clip from shit if i had to guess from the length of this video 58 seconds it's probably bloomberg quick take we'll find out in that in the description at the title of it is pelosi says gop is afraid of the truth uh, is afraid of truth for opposing capital riot commission very confusing title um we about to figure out what the fuck she actually talking about a lot of people hate nancy pelosi i ain't got no problem with you you just say a lot of dumb shit i ain't got no personal problems with really nobody unless you evil i don't think she evil she just stupid nothing wrong with that it's a lot of stupid people gotta have stupid people in order for smart people to exist but anyway before we get into this video man i like what i've been doing here like comment subscribe and share let's get into it so here we are January 6th, and now the middle of May, and we have a commission, a bipartisan commission, coming to the floor of the House. It sounds like they're afraid of the truth, and that's most... See, and this is where I got a problem with politicians, right? So she say some shit like this, right? Bipartisan commission a commission, a bipartisan commission coming to the floor of the house. It's what does that mean? What does that mean? For the person watching who just clicked on C-SPAN that day, who doesn't really know what the fuck you're talking about, you should be explaining that. Could be living in a world where the majority of the people paying attention to what's going down isn't the people in the room. It's everyone who's looking through the lens of a fucking camera and they don't know what the fuck is going on. And if y'all don't understand, politician talk is the same as lawyer talk. You'll learn if you haven't learned already. Most politicians were lawyers or went to law school or have some type of education in law because they speak a whole different language. And they write laws and they also interpret laws. You get what the fuck I'm talking. It's a whole little system. It's a whole nother culture when it comes. Politicians and lawyers are the same thing. Politicians are just lawyers who got in a place of power. That's the only fucking difference. And they speak this type of shit where you just don't understand. It's called jargon. Go look it up. Jargon begins with a J. J A R G A N. I believe I, I'm probably spelling it wrong. I ain't been to college in a couple years, so excuse me. Jargon. This is what the fuck they talk. You have no idea what the fuck this means. Because I don't know. And I like to think I'm pretty versed. afraid of the truth. And that's most unfortunate. But hopefully they'll get used to the idea that the American people want us to find the truth. And that is what we intend to do. And to do it in a way that is as unifying as possible. Quick, like, God damn, nigga, this is barely halfway through the video. What else y'all got to show on here? Listen, I need to file a complaint. Bloomberg quick take is too fucking quick. Like, bro, y'all literally show, like, Vine clips. If y'all know what the fuck Vine is, or I'm just an old-ass nigga, Vine was an app where they only show six-second clips of videos, and niggas were very fucking creative with the six to seven seconds they had. This is what the fuck they're doing. Bloomberg quick take. Y'all got to stop this shit. We we barely half. We just got over the halfway mark and the video's over. What else could you be showing for the other 20 something seconds? Quit wasting our time here. But y'all give me some content. I give y'all that. So um, I wish there was more more context here to get an understanding. Y'all, they literally gave us a 20 second clip. With 10 seconds of filler, and then the other 30 seconds is the end of the fucking video. So, this is the type of shit I be talking about. Like, bro, just a lot of mis... It's, it's a lot of smoke and mirrors, bro. A lot of sound bites. And then you run with it. Or they run with it. And you start formulating ideas and thoughts and shit about things that don't actually exist. <laughs> This is the problem I be having with politicians and media. Terrible mix. 
I, I I miss I mean I wasn't around during this time but I wish I could have been around the time where only time you heard a politician talk was on the fucking radio I wish that's what we were doing but even then I couldn't even tell you because what if back then niggas had control over the radio and the only people you heard on the radio were the niggas who had the money to do so and every time there was a candidate that you pick because you kept hearing the nigga on the radio it's because he had the money to be on there it'd be some shit wouldn't it it's kind of what's going down now it's just more than radio you got the internet radio television social media of course all of that shit so yeah anyway y'all like what i'm doing here man like comment subscribe and share Pablo be coming with y'all, coming coming to y'all with some with some heat, man. I got, let me see, this the second video. Or today I got six more. He'll be doing eight all together. Let's go. But anyway, man, y'all like what I'm doing here. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. We're gonna have more videos, man. Thank you for everyone who has been sharing my content. I really love y'all uh, um, who've been subscribing. Shout out to the subscribers. I probably mentioned this in the previous video, but man, nigga, we hit 300 subscribers. Listen, my channel ain't growing the quickest. Like, I've heard stories of niggas getting a thousand subscribers in a week or in a month. I ain't, I ain't hit that. And I'm thankful for the 300 I've gotten in a year because I've been inconsistent like a motherfucker, especially to people who've been watching. You know how inconsistent I've been. I've been taking breaks and shit, and I'm still getting subscribers. I appreciate y'all. Y'all make me wonder what would happen if I just did this shit every day, which is why I'm doing it every day. And I'm gonna be seeing what happens for the next year, because I already tried a year of inconsistency, and it got me 300 subscribers. I started off with literally two. So, like, 298 in a year, can't be mad can't be mad so i really thank y'all uh y'all go follow me on my other social medias man y'all see that around the video all up there man i be streaming on twitch too so follow me on there um yeah man i be gaming talking about shit like this but uh yeah man other than that i ain't got nothing else to talk to talk about man y'all like what i'm doing here like comment subscribe and share and pop up